What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and we are back with another video. And today we're going to be going over the stats and everything like that of the characters. And let me just say, Kuranai is actually really good. Utakata, not as much as we'd want him to be, but eh, I don't know. So, getting into it. 1600 attack, I mean 1600 HP, 2000 attack rat, um, attack stat. I'm pretty sure she's short range. So, um, for, for a Phantom Council unit, 2000 attack stat is really good. Like, really good, right? Um... We don't really know, we don't know her field and buddy are, but it's 20, 25%, 25%. She has 4-8 chakra, her first jutsu single target, um, three times multiplier, with a 60% chance to do something for three turns, which I'm going to go ahead and assume it's like a mobilize maybe, because um, if you remember, Kuranai was a genjutsu user, right? And genjutsu usually translate to a mobilization or dodge, but... I don't think she's going to be using dodge on herself, so it'll probably be a mobilization. Her ult is going to be single target, 7 times attack to 1 enemy, 70% chance to may do something for 2 turns. So 4A Chakra, as a Phantom Castle unit, is insanely good. She's a bravery unit, so it's kind of meh. I mean, I'm going to still probably get her, but, you know, that's nothing crazy. PvP stats are nothing crazy. I mean, she's a free unit, so, you know, there you go. But her abilities, reduce wisdom damage by 15%, 15%, increase status element time by one turn. So now she has four turns and then three turns. And then her last ability is um, 10%, add 10% to uh, Jutsu or like your modifiers or whatever. So pretty much her first Jutsu, it goes to 80%. And her ultimate goes to 90%. And that's 4-8 Chakra. So like... She's actually really good for, like, a Phantom Castle unit. She's actually pretty good. Going on to Utakata. Uh, 1,500 HP, 1,700 attack, long-range unit. Well, 1,800 attack, long-range unit. So, really good um, for a, you know, regular banner unit. 1,800 attack as a long-range unit. He goes under 28, which is really good because he's bravery. As you know, under 28 missions revolve around bravery and wisdom units. So that's really, really good. Um, 100, 200. I'm pretty sure those are both attack. 4-8 uh, Chakra. His first Jutsu is AoE. Um, AoE, 5 times multiplier, 30% chance to apply something for one turn. And then his ult is 11 times multiplier, uh, AoE also. And it's, what, 13 times multiplier if it's Wisdom? I think that's what it's saying. Um, but yeah, going on to his abilities, uh, it says 1, 1, 1, 15 and 0, 15, I mean 20 and 0. So this is like, um, receive a chakra, receive one chakra a turn in like Phantom Castle. So it's like he gets three chakra each turn he has, right? And I guess that's where his ult comes in for Phantom Castle. Because you can get your ult pretty easy if you have, you get three chakra on your turn. So it's like literally your first turn you get four chakra, you, you'll get... You'll have four chakra plus three chakra. So in your tech, second turn in Phantom Castle, you'll have your ult. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Going on to his uh, other ones, he has a 15% and 20% on his first Jutsu. So he has a 35% chance to use no chakra on his first Jutsu, which is pretty good. Uh, he's four eight chakra, like I said. Going on to PvP, nothing crazy. He's all right, like I said. Um, Kurana is actually really cool for a free-to-play unit. But Utakata is kind of meh for a free-to-play unit. So, you know, there you pretty much have it. Uh, yeah. Sync skills, which are whatever. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell us you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.